All parties in the matter of Johnson versus Pope, step forward. Elizabeth Johnson is suing her son's ex-girlfriend, 19-year-old Hannah Pope, for an unpaid loan and punitive damages for trespassing, vandalism, and threats. Ms. Johnson, I'm going to very quickly lay out this case, and then I'm going to go to Ms. Pope, okay? Miss mm -hmm. Pope and your son were boyfriend and girlfriend. Correct. I assume that's the son. Correct. They are no longer boyfriend and girlfriend. Correct. Well, during a period of time when they were boyfriend and girlfriend, they lived in a house that you owned. Yes. You sometimes visited the house, but they were there more often. Correct. Than you were. During that time, during the time they were a couple, sometime in the past year, you bought a car, Miss Pope. Yes. And you bought a car for how much? Sixty-five hundred dollars. And the car is in your name. Yes. And after you and Miss Johnson's son broke up, you took the car. Yes. And you have the car. Yes. You bought the car for sixty-five hundred dollars. Yes. But you didn't have enough money to register the car. Yes. And to insure it, or mm -hmm. just register it. Just register. So the money for that came from Miss Johnson. No. What was the boyfriend doing? What kind of work did he do? He Look worked. At me as a contractor for a sewer company. And how much does he earn? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Well, you were living together. How much did he earn? I honestly don't know. Who paid the rent? Um, I paid for household expenses. He paid for the taxes for the house. OK, and how much were the taxes? I don't know. And who paid for meals out? Who paid for entertainment? Who paid for general things that it takes to run a house, for food? I paid for food most of the time. Now, when you had to register the car, Tell me where you got the money from. Matthew had uh, had me under the impression that he was the one who was giving me the money. Okay. I want you to tell me how that came about. He had told me that he would help me out with the taxes in the car and that he would be the one giving me the money. Is that what you told her? No. No, of course not. And how much money did Matthew give you for the registration of the car and the tax? $650. $650. And that came from you? Correct. And you have the car? Yes. And it's registered. Yes. So you have to give it back six fifty. Six fifty. When you and Matthew separated, you went back into the house at some point to get some of your property. Yes. And when you were in the house, you trashed it. I wouldn't say trash. I did strew about some things, and I did clean it up myself. They did not have to clean up any of it. Did you break anything? I did not break anything. No. When did you clean it up? After the police told you, or before the police told you to clean it up? After the police had been there. I told you, you better clean it up. I said that I was going to clean it up before the police even asked me to do it. Did you have to do any work to clean up after the mess that she made? I made my son clean it up. Okay, that's He good. cleaned the carpet and scrubbed the kitchen floor. Did you do that? Yes, I did. Okay. And she can't come to your house anymore. She knows that. Correct. Are we done here $650 later? Well, um, I have <clears throat> also filed for trespassing. Are we done here? For the 650, yes, ma'am. Then we're done here. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $650. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Step out.